Hey, I want to share this moment with you. I was out here um, just a minute ago filming this video. <laughs> I was just babbling. I was like, I need to read it, but I, you, I wanted you to see this. I'm on the coast of Massachusetts with my husband's family and it is freezing. I'm gonna put my glove on while I talk to you, but I wanted you to see the magic of this sunset. And I know it's a little grainy, um, but I wanted you to see it. Let's look at the sky one more time. Whew. And then I have a message for you. <laughs> look at, um, oh my gosh, look at that bridge. Like, where are we gonna go? Where are you going in 2023? And that's what I wanna talk to you about. So this year, my word for this year is connection. And you're gonna be seeing more uh, coming from me regarding that word, more free events, more classes, because this is where spirit and God and my guides have been leading me is connection. Connection, connection, connection. And let's talk really briefly. I'd like to talk about what the fuck is going on in the world right now. I don't think I don't, I don't know not one, I don't know not one, sorry. I don't know not one person that is not going through something either themselves or they know someone close to them or they have something going on in their body. I know of people who are passing away out of the blue. Sudden death syndrome is like the number one Googled thing on the planet right now. It's like people are choosing to leave. People are more anxious, more depressed than it's just, it's, it's on the rise right now. So let's just talk really quickly about how to, to navigate through this. And in my experience and in what I've been shown, why this is happening and how we can get through it. Now, I am not gonna pretend to know anything about astrology more than very basic. I don't talk about portals. I don't talk about, I mean, kind of talk about portals, but I don't talk about 1111 and like um, Lionsgate portals. And I, I don't talk about that stuff because I don't know much about it and I've never honestly been drawn to it, but here's what I know. Whether I know much about it or whether you know much about it, we can all, we can all feel that energy is shifting right now. And the only thing I do know very little about is that Pluto is, um, I believe if you know the answer to this, you probably do if you're watching it, some of, someone out there does, that Pluto is um, in the United States and it's causing havoc and wreaking it's intense, it's intense. Um, and we're feeling it, we're feeling it here. And I know that people are feeling it all over the world. And here is what I do know, that we are in a time of ascension. This is not bullshit, um, spiritual woo woo stuff. It's real, it's real. And throughout human history, my understanding, what I feel deeply is that we have had opportunities to ascend. That means getting out of being a fallen, inverted planet. We are toddlers. We are toddlers on the cosmic galactic plane. We have so much to learn. And we have been learning in the same way for so long. This is the cycle of samsara, the Buddhist cycle of samsara. And throughout history, we've had opportunities to ascend. So what does ascend mean? That means to move out of this lower vibrational dense, um, uh, this dense vibration and move into more of who we are meant to be. Telepathic, multidimensional, not, not live um, with murder and rape and all these dark evil things. We are not meant to do that. It's been here and we are not meant to do this anymore. However, throughout history, we've had these opportunities, but it's been sabotaged. And I don't know too much about it, but I know that that's true. It's been sabotaged in one way or another. But what's happening right now, 2023, the 20s, the year of like the 2000s, I don't know how to say it, but um, we are at a real time where we're actually going to ascend and nothing is going to stop it. Now, so what does that mean? That means that there are some forces and beings and energies and people and history that don't want us to. They don't want us to. 
And this is what we're getting rubbed up against right now. And this is not about being a victim saying and blaming it. Oh, I'm having this breakdown because something is not wanting me to. Something doesn't want me to be free. Yes, that's true, but the real work comes from within. And we are asked, being asked to do the real work within ourselves and our communities and do the real shadow work, do the real work. Things are moving very, very quickly. And because we're in such an amazing time in human history and we have this opportunity to ascend, there's gonna be breakdown. So here's where you come in. Here's where you come in. You come in by doing your work. Be in community. If you are isolating, and this is, I am feeling energies because I feel it too. Be what, like this kind of like, like, you know, those canes, like when you're like on stage and they're trying to get you off, like the old canes. It feels like something is like pulling for us to get in our little corners. And this is not about like just taking your time and isolating and being readjusted. That's one thing. Like, like I've been feeling this need to just be here and be by the water and get ready for the year. That's different. Isolation is a completely different thing. We're like going into pockets and being pulled or drawn to not being in community because we are stronger when we are together. You know how many people I hear say to me, Beth, I don't like being in groups. However, once I get into groups, magic happens. I feel a part of, I get, feel seen. I have people praying for me. And no matter what's going on in my life, I know I'm gonna get through it because I have a group, I have community. So that's one, number one, community, number two, starting to get out of your own way. You hear that all the time and it is so real. If you are wanting to create something, let's say you look at me and I don't know if you do or not, but like, oh wow, she's so brave. She can get up and do these videos and, and do these things. The only thing that keeps me from you, like separates from me, from you, if you're not do, now this is if you are not doing what you really wanna do. And here it comes down to this courage and action, courage and action. It took me a long time to get to courage and it took a long time to get to action. You are meant for so much, whatever that is. You are powerful beyond measure. You are beautiful. And if you are hiding any part of yourself, this is the time. This is where we're most strong. This is what disintegrates fear. It's coming out of the shadows. If you have unchecked trauma, please work with someone to release it. And if you are going through something challenging or someone is going through something challenging in your life that you know, please know you're not alone. It's happening to almost everybody. It's happening, you know what I'm saying? Things are moving and shifting. We get to ground, we get to come together, hold hands virtually or actually in person, pray and hold steady as we're moving through this ascension process. You might be more tired than you normally are. Your body might be doing fun funky things. And you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And as we're ascending, some people are going to decide not to be here. This is the time of the spiritual warrior. This is your time. This is my time. It's not a time about fighting. Warrior doesn't mean fighting in this context. context. What it means is standing with courage, standing with responsibility, being in your heart, being kind and generous, not being a people pleaser, releasing codependency, and stepping into who you really are. So let's rock it out in 2023. No more hiding. Communities are waiting for you. This community here. So here's what I'd like you to do. I'm going to invite you to write, um, tell me your word for 2023. What is the word 
or two words that you are stepping into for 2023. Mine is connection. What is yours? Just hit reply to this email and I'm sending you so much love. Have an amazing new year. We're in this together on this floating globe. We're in this together. All right. Talk to you soon. I'll see you on the next video. Look at that. Let's give you a little tour. I know it's really grainy, but how freaking beautiful is that? All right. I'll talk to you soon. Until next video. All right. My name is Beth Osmer and I'll see you.